Hello and welcome once again to The Last of Us television show. A curiosity of the whole world of whether or not it's going to be any good. Everybody's keeping their eye on it as a video game adaptation, as a fun TV show, as a mm -hmm. thing in general. And we're here to offer our perspective here and there. First episode, like I said, seems to have gone over relatively well with, uh, with the people of the world. And uh, a lot of people have said it's up to episode two now to see if, if that was a fluke or if there's going to be a pattern emerging, as well as comparisons to how the game does it. Lots of uh, thoughts on, you know, whether or not they'll be taking dialogue or scenes. We talked about how a lack of spores is going to change things. I've heard about a change they've made to how the monsters work or rather the enemies work and something that curious how it manifests in this, as well mm. as um, whether or not bigger changes are coming. Like, are we going to see Tommy earlier? The drama is going to be involved with him and what's going to happen to Tess? Because the game has set out quite a specific path. I think so far that we've had good things to imply from the dialogue, the performances, the production values, and the faithfulness. So I think we're in a good spot. That's what I reckon. What do you guys so reckon? Far. So far, yeah. After that first episode, I thought that was pretty solid. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good too. I'm curious to see what they do next. There's plenty of things they could get wrong, though. Hopefully they won't shoot themselves in the foot here. We've tried to highlight uh, little, little pieces of dialogue that I think are better than others that imply something going on. One of the ones I caught... I meant to praise was um, when he's talking to the uh, the radio guy and he's like, "Show me where the tower is." And the guy's like, oh, "All this open country? There are worse things than infected out there. There are raiders. There are slavers. The crazy idea. There's all kinds of horrible things out there." Joel then says to him, "But you're sure Tommy's okay?" And then uh, the guy just looks at him and then just starts explaining where he needs to go. <laughs> it's uh. It's the Cody Tower. I thought it was neat in terms of like, you're not going to stop if Tommy's not safe and I can't tell you he is. So may as well cut to the chase. I'm just going to give you the information you need. Mm -hmm. Like uh, interactions sort of like that, I quite details. like. Yeah. yeah, and there were a few of those in the first episode. It's expeditious and character buildy. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, well, I guess uh, without further ado, let's see how this series continues. HBO. <laughs> B.O. Oh no, the Cordyceps zombies have made a civilization. Oh my god, is this... Uh, this okay, is the so this could right? be either it's before or from... after the uh No, this apocalypse, is before. This as far is as we know. It's two days before the outbreak. Oh my god. It originates in Jakarta? Or maybe it's... I believe just... in the game it originates in... Uh, it, it was like Indonesia or South America? I can't quite remember, because it was food. So is it like a simultaneous all of food on Earth, or how does it work? I think it was... Food from a particular location that got spread out to a bunch of different places. I, um, I'm not. I, I don't quite remember what it was from the game. Like wasn't detected like fast that. enough to stop. Yes. Yes. Something like that. Indonesia. Indonesia. That fungi man. Indonesia. It'll get you. Mm. Apologize about your lunch. You know what? It's fine. Should have taken it. I didn't go. think we were gonna get any more uh, pre-apocalypse stuff. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they're doing this. Professor Mycology. Universitas Indonesia. Kita memiliki orang yang tepat. You are expert in cordyceps, yes? No, no, no. I, I'm a, no, we have a terrible mistake. It's gynecology, not my ecology. Ew. If I have to deal with fungus, things have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> I know me some mushrooms. It's gonna be like they show her a sample. She's like, oh, we're fucked. Kami butuh bantuan Bu Ratna untuk meneliti spesies dapat Bu Ratna sebut. Yeah, don't tell her the answers. Yeah, quit women explaining to her. Tapi kenapa menggunakan klorasol untuk mempersiapkan slide? Kami gunakan sebagai persiapan pengambilan sampel dari tubuh manusia, Bu Ratna. Uh oh. There is a fungus on this. tidak bisa bertahan pada manusia. Oh, I, I guess this is a nice companion piece for the first episode's opening scene, isn't it? So if that happens, we lose. Yeah, yeah just, I wouldn't mind getting, getting more of these. It yeah, would be I like a lot of good setups. So. I'd be curious if we get one of these per episode of the world falling apart. Cool. I can kind of see that as a pattern now, yeah. That could be neat. And maybe you keep changing country as well. And maybe we get to see different people. Maybe we see what happened with Bill, you know? Also, if you feel sick, please leave. It's like, oh, great, thanks. Do oh, my. you see what I see? What is the age rate for this show? I can't remember how uh, how violent they've been as well. Violent hasn't been... Hasn't been really violent. How you doing there, people? Oh, no. So who done did the biting? Did you dug a bite? I thought you said your dog did not bite. That is not my dog. Did <laughs> your dog bite? Gross. It's been shot in the forehead, so it's dead as fuck, right? 
Oh, I didn't know if that was what that is exactly. I, it, it's the implication then that this thing attacked soldiers, maybe, and they shot it. I'd be my guess. In the head, yeah. Ugh. Ooh, yum, spaghetti. Oh, careful. Don't breathe that. This is an ugly room. Looks like a room gold member might have. <gasps> Turtle. Look at him. He's killed. Flour and grain. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I guess it considers we don't have a patient zero. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit late for that. Oh, shit. Just bomb the whole place? Yeah, what a mushroom's gonna do against the power of nukes. The power of the atom! The only problem is we don't do so well against nukes either. Jeez, like... She's just basically like, we lost game over, like the first clip says. So was the only transmission being bit? Well, I think well, it's... It, the, the, she, I think, the implication on that the scene is that like it's already spread in the food now because she would have been yeah. working with it. Because that was uh, how it spread around the world was food. But yeah, the, the question is, of course, how did she get it? It's like presumably a bite. And where did who bit her? It's like, don't even know. We can't even trace yeah. how they may have gotten it, whoever bit her. Because obviously there would have been a jump, an evolution, or maybe even through species. But I'm assuming the point the show's making is we can't even trace that. Yeah. You guys ever see Contagion? Yes. No. That film, um, you know, it's dealing with the pandemic, the... Of it. I think it became really popular when COVID shot off, actually. Like, again, like, numbers rose yeah, for watching right. it. But I think I that film ends movie. with uh, showing how it all started, and it's like a bat eating um, something somewhere, and then like a pig eating something somewhere. Like, it's just, it's just you know, unfortunate circumstances of cross this, that, and the other. Back to modern times. It's a flutter by. Maybe this is a dream. Oh, you have shitty dreams. I guess if you live in a world of mushroom people running around, you dream about mushroom people? Maybe. Mushroom places. This is the episode Neil Druckmann directed. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Morning. Oh yeah, I guess they'd have issues with it. Let's, yeah. Let's do it. Do I look like I'm infected? Show us your arm. I'm surprised they let her go to sleep, to be honest. Yeah, it's not getting any worse, is it? She locked me up and had her guys test me every day to see if I was getting sick. Test you how? I have to pee. They oh, for a second there, I thought she meant the test involved peeing. Steady, yeah. but I think what really impressed them was the fact that I didn't turn into a fucking monster. Well, infection's a little more complicated than that, love. <laughs> like, yeah, you could be carrying yeah. it right now. Yep. There's not going to be anything bad in here? Just you. Oh, funny. Quit smoking. Maybe a hairline. It'll heal fast. She made it through the fucking night, job. It doesn't matter. It's gonna happen sooner or later. We sneak her back into the QZ, we find a different way to get the battery. This is our best shot. I'm gonna scan her, and they'll kill her. Well, better them than us. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. Yeah, it's kind of complicated exactly what they would talk about. This is super unprecedented for them, and nobody's guiding them on this. Nope. It's, it's just like, yeah. is she and that's just gonna die? I don't know. Why are you so important to my room? Don't lie to me, or we'll take you back. Take me back, you don't get your battery. You heard that? Then you must have heard that he wants to shoot you. I ain't I denying it. you like you're an adult, okay? They're working on a cure. Mm -hmm. We've heard this a million times. Vaccines, miracle cures, none of it works, ever. Fuck you, man, I didn't ask for this. You and me both, we need to go back. Uh, that framing felt very deliberate, didn't it? Yeah. She I think that was actually pretty good. I like that. that she is. I'm teetering right now on a decision, isn't it? Yeah. The thing is, she is the probably the best and clearest way to get what they want right now. She so much as twitches. Well, it's what it's what Tess said, but it was, but I mean, you know, Tess is. You know what I mean? Like, is is that really why she's interested in doing it, or is there? If, if they're going the same route they did with the character in the okay. game, then you can already start to read into why she's actually nudging them in favor of this choice. 
And yeah, I mean, fly, we got uh, a lot more time. Hospital, yeah. doctors, maybe zebra saving yeah. doctors, I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely no. not. Okay, Jesus, fine, I'll just throw a fucking sandwich at them. No, get a bottle or a brick. Well, I mean, she'll be probably getting that gun eventually. Not that one, but a gun. You're thinking about trying to do years of war with this sort of thing, with the, how chonky those guys are. <laughs> chonky boys. <laughs> and to put them in chonky armor. We can't fit through the door. Break it down. <laughs> Make a whole new world of bigger, chunkier doors. The chunk plague. Everyone became so, chunky. How did those sorts of things happen? They bombed this area. Right, okay. They all, all the get moving. infected pushed it over. They got on one side. <laughs> <laughs> pushed it over. Yeah. I don't like civilization. I'm also just noticing as well that all of the cars are like looking appropriate for the era. It was something I was thinking about because I think I saw like a Mastercard logo on the door, and I was wondering like, are we are we gonna be seeing only brands, you know, up to 2003? Man, Mastercard they... still exists, but you know, like <laughs> if you know they simply mean? bombed loads of major cities to slow it down, that's how you know we've basically lost. Yeah, essentially. But I mean, it's easy to see how it got out of control because so many people got sick so quickly. Yeah, and. I find it more believable than a lot of newer I versions of zombie stories. Much more I really yeah. like the setup. The backdrop looks really good. Oh, yeah. And I mean, just the fact that even though everything fell apart, you've still got your quarantine zones around the place, and then you've got different organizations with their own little settlements. Yeah, and over time, factions, rather. they can build up, but simultaneously they'll just start hurting each other. Well, yeah, five flies at war with the government. How did you get bit? You know the old mall in the QZ? One that's sealed off I wonder if we'll get that scene as well, probably. I I would imagine we'll get a whole episode on Whatever, that. Whatever, I snuck in. Wanted to see what it was like. DLC episode for the show. I didn't think there was going to be anything in there. Yeah. And one just came at me out of nowhere. I wonder if she's going to mention uh, so it was just you and them, Riley. Right? Yeah, because Riley has been mentioned in episode one. And you were safe there until you decided to sneak out. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? So it was just you in there alone? Yeah. Ah, nope. She oh, keeping that to herself. Yeah. Fourteen. Mommy, you got some balls on you, sister. Thanks. If only Tommy could go over trucks. No, the one who can't. Right? <laughs> like if mom, you don't know Rags in the game, he yeah. holds the door closed because they're a bunch of infected. It's like, well, I'm gonna be faster than you, so I can catch up. That's why he splits up better, with them in the first one. Yeah. It's a better one in the game. Yeah. Definitely. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Swarms of infected running around everywhere. Some people like to tell stories. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. Like I, I guess they're going to encounter blood or at some point. I thought the spores were just a non-element in this. Even if they were a non-element, I could easily imagine. Oh. What was that? Man, TV shows, they just have them chongus budgets now, don't they? Oh, yeah. Well, and you know, when they pitched this, they were like, we can make you a lot of money with this one, okay? Yeah. Here's our one, proof, exactly. look at the game. And then they'll be like, what's all this about Last of Us 2? Like, shut up. Oh, look, little buckies. How cute. They used real ones, not CG ones. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. piano. Frog <laughs> and a piano. Look at him go. <laughs> this side, I like it. I like, I like the... Practical sets, they're cool. Yes, there was a I real really frog like on a piano. As well. They built real sets with tons of sets. They bought a frog. They it would have taken ages to make this thing. Think of the people who got involved. Well, because this show was shot over the course of, I think, a year. It had a long, long production. I don't know how to swim. True, Seriously. that is a thing. Do you think we have poison? Yep. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to know that. Because that's how buildings work. I, I guess looking at it, you might have thought it was deeper. I don't know. But yeah, that'll be that'll be relevant another time, I imagine. <laughs> Motherfucker, what are you doing? Yes, sir. I would like your finest sweet, please. You're a weird kid. You're a weird kid. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hello. The bellhop is not going to get a good tip. <laughs> He's scaring the customers. He's scaring the customers. <laughs> also, they have to push their own luggage. <laughs> I do yeah. like that his knuckles are still bruised there. Oh yeah, they they uh, made a good note of that at the beginning of the episode. Oh yeah, Boy, and even he hurt himself doing it, if which you, is nice if, when a, a story acknowledges that punching I'm, somebody in the face over and over again is probably going to hurt your hand. I think Rag specifically said, don't do that, you'll hurt your hand. <laughs> Damn, don't like hurt your hand, you'll need that. 
Man, if I was them and I came across a hotel like that, I'd be opening up the luggage because a lot of people, they yeah. bring toothpaste, toothbrush, all things like that inside of their bags. It's kind of what I mean. The passing through of different areas makes me think, like, has anyone looted these places? Because, man, you know, it could be gold mines waiting to happen. That's what I'm thinking. All that stuff that you can't really get anymore. I mean, if Clean the game's stuff, running in the toiletries. Case, that would go with the show. Yes, a lot of these areas have been pillaged by moving groups of, like, raiders and... Bandits. So finding a locked door is We're like, right. hey, people haven't been in here. Maybe. Yeah. Well, it'll just be easier for me to get through. Mm -hmm. But you die and you get nothing. You stay. Here's the thing. If you and me, I'd be happy to have these three for several episodes. Mm -hmm. I'd be fine with that. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna need a few minutes. Gosh, there's like a bomb went off in here. <laughs> Terrible wallpaper. Look at it. Nice knife. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. Where are you from? The circus. See? I could be a mass hall too. <laughs> what about Tess? Detroit. It's in Michigan. I go to school. I know where Detroit is. Uh, that, to be fair, <laughs> like, do you go to we school? Don't know what... You don't go to school right now. To, like, uh... Pass. How long do infected live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. Some last about a month or two. But there's others. Been walking around about 20 years. I killed lots of them. Is it hard? Like, knowing they were people once? Sometimes. What now? It was very video gamey as well, by the way. Like, this door is stuck. Yeah. You have to lift your NPC character over there to go and open it up <laughs> while yeah. having some dialogue. Truly in, like, a city, it can't be that hard to get where you need to go, right? Well, with all the roads, sidewalks, buildings meant for human traversal. It does seem like they've opted go into a building when I wouldn't have thought they would want to do that until Whoa. they reach the building they want. Unless they try to scope it out to see if they can, you know, get a vantage point. Yeah, like that. Oh dear, All right, that's a lot of infected. Yeah. Not sure what they're doing either. I guess maybe they're sleeping. The last chilling. Is it the sun that's fucking with them there? The fungus also grows underground. You step on a patch of cordyceps in one place and you can wake a dozen infected from somewhere else. That's the new now mechanic, apparently. Are, now they come. Uh -oh. Okay. You gotta watch where you're walking. Now, uh, I have heard, by the way, that you you were correct in the assumption that the reason they got rid of the spores, at least mainly from what I'm seeing, is they wanted less gas masks. Oh. Uh -oh. More emoting. Okay, right. Fringy loves that. Sure. I'm the one who likes gas masks too. No, it's the Fringy was <laughs> talking about. He doesn't want people's faces covered up in media. I, the thing is, is that, like, this to me is because they've replaced it with something else as a mechanic. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, no, this like, is the ground no, up. We I haven't. See how they, we didn't arbitrarily throw this on it. in season two or something. This is this yeah, is from the start. Right, ex exactly. And, like, this is just an alternate explanation that gives them that rather than. Let's take the helmet that protects me from like concussive damage yeah. in a in a battle because I need to have my face shown because I'm a famous actor. Why don't you take the fire escape ladder on the side of the building if there is one? Yeah, it's like is this the way they have to go? Uh, there are obviously invisible walls in the TV world as well. Oh no, that's not okay. good. That's what really got everyone. You come up against anything, you get behind us and you stay there, okay? Yes, I have a spare hand. Congratulations. You don't trust you with guns. I think it's more for the uh, the torch, right? I oh, no, she's, she's got one. Got okay, one. so, yeah, so it is the gun then. Obviously, we'll be getting a payoff eventually with her getting a gun. It'll be yes. fun. But yeah, this place would be... Was it a museum in the game? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You encounter them in the buildings, though, right? At night, before you get here in the game? Like in the skyscrapers, yeah. I think? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Because I don't take a break, they just go straight there. Well, because the show itself isn't going to be as long as the game, is it? Well, it's kind of it's kind of complicated, right? Because the show may be longer in other ways. Like, yeah. it will have more strict cutscenes, or more strict, like, you know, scenes than the game does. Looks fresh. What the fuck yeah. did that? Zambi? Maybe he was a the doors. I don't hear it. Who would you hear? You definitely needed to explain this to her. Uh, she hasn't encountered a clicker before. Why aren't they telling her about the clickers? And they should have told her that before they went in the building. Well, I thought when jo when Joel was talking about, you know, a month versus a year, right? Because clickers were about a year, and then bloaters is like, they've been infected from the beginning, more or less. Then there's ones in The Last of Us 2, like the hyper flesh pile things. The Rat King, yeah. <laughs> And then there's other versions, because it's like the Stalker as well, which is like partway between Clicker and Runner. 
I'm curious if they'll do the thing like in the game where the runners are sometimes standing there crying as they're twitching. The Last of Us offers you plenty of horror opportunities. Oh yeah, this is a terrifying place to be. What's interesting as well is that you probably want to be equipped for creating noises uh, at a distance. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, picking up rocks or something like that. You'd want to have an well, egg do timer mean, handy. Right? Like video games do. You always have like a little rock to throw, especially. Well, because runners are complicated. They can still see you. It's the clickers. Which, by the way, what a great idea. They can't see, so they use echolocation to find you. Look at this set. It's taking yeah. ages to make this like, thing. Jesus, look at this. And it's going to be gone after this episode, probably, right? This whole set. Probably, yeah. Nice. Remember what they said. Step on a thing and... Mm. I don't know how she accidentally stood on a whole ass hand. You got one okay, job, no, okay, no, honey? No, Watch where you're going. Yeah. Yeah. Don't st- <laughs> Really creepy, right? Because it's kind of like Alien, where all the environment is mm. like a, a particular way, but then you can sometimes spot. It's like, oh, that's a person. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> yep, this is about on cue. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna be like one of the big reasons to have uh, people be waiting for, right? A clicker. Yeah. Yeah, I figure already you want to throw something across the other side of the room. I suppose they can be kind of easy to lose to an extent. Mm. Oof, loading that's dangerous. Wow, it'll be like in that trailer for the game, right? When he loaded it, and that was the thing that revealed his position. I wonder if they that, can um, do that again. You can throw your shells. Yeah, you should you should have thrown those if well, at least one of them was yeah, empty. Yeah, they throw. make a nice they, they make a nice tinkling noise. Oh, show! As we would write it. Yeah, on you're, you're doing, doing the thing. You're doing it. <laughs> Gotta be right there. Yeah. You don't even consider throwing the torch at this point. Anything to distract it. One shot to the head, right? Uh, from the back, but from the front, the, the fungus is kind of like a protective thing. Dang, to stop a bullet? Or at least dampen its effects. That's what it did in the games, yeah. Like, yeah, in the games, it, that's almost got mechanical value, right? Like, if you get them uh, behind. Yes, of course. Yeah. And of course, you can't take them in melee in the game unless you have a. Oh yeah, they just like insta kill you, right? I do love how like terrifying they made them here. Uh. Uh. How the fuck is it still alive? They shot it so many times. Plus, kind of how they work. They don't have like a human's health. No, dead stronger. Because I just made an encounter with two of them, like, absolutely terrifying and tense. Difficult. Even though they're hardened survivors, like, still, even 20 years in, encountering, like, two clickers yeah. is terrifying. I shit my pants. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, if it was going to happen to one of us. I assume it is you need to be bitten, not just scratched, or, uh... You gotta be bitten. Just wait there. Give us a minute. There's probably more ahead. So we'll deal with it then. First bite didn't take. And what about the second? I'd like you just to take the good news. Can you do that? I like to think for once maybe we can actually win. I was keeping an eye on her facial reaction when she said if it was gonna be one of us. Yeah. She's already been bitten. Did everything you hoped for? So is that everything you hoped for? Jury's still out. Jury's still out. Man, one to one. But man, you can't deny that view. But man, you can't deny that view. Come on, this way. 
Yeah, it's like identical. Come on, let's get there before it's dark. Yeah, if they keep this up, it's like, man, this would have cost a shit ton, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, nine-figure budget. But hey, it's already one of the most successful shows, like, on HBO ever, so... A lot of people, like, I've seen the sentiment, like, I've seen The Walking Dead, why would I care? It's like, Walking Dead is shit. Uh, yeah, Walking Dead is lame. The the show, anyway, the comic was pretty cool. At least up to the part where I read it, but the show was lame. And how many seasons did Walking Dead have? Like, a million? Uh, I think it got up to, like, 12 or 13, and there's, like, other spin-off shows, too, that had multiple seasons. Yeah, Fear the Walking Dead had already, two... like, six seasons or some shit, right? I, I... And there's another one, I believe, too. And I'm pretty sure that they're doing two new ones. Like, they're bringing back, uh, Rick and um, Michonne for like another <laughs> season, like another series. Let it die. <laughs> no, AMC won't let it go. It's like their most successful thing. And it wasn't even like, more than Breaking Bad. They found every way to make it cheaper as well, didn't they? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting how money translates because you'd be like, is it worth putting all the money in to make all these sets for this show? And it's like, well, it's going to make people remember this show. I'm not kidding. Well, it was the, the thing, right? Like, the Walking Dead was the biggest show on, on AMC ever, and the second season got a reduced budget per episode. It's like, seems odd. Mm -hmm. What's interesting about The Walking oh. Dead is that that's a show my parents used to watch, and then my mom mm. said, we stopped watching it when characters started acting fucking stupid for no <laughs> reason when yeah. they should know better. Dude, everybody and I'm like, man, if like that. normies, yeah, like my parents are Everybody's super mega normies. Yeah. 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 And I think it's the reason why you have, if it continues at this rate, like this show will be pretty strong and I'm pretty sure everybody will agree with that sentiment. If they've it keeps got, up. They're, they're doing mean, a good job. I don't mean this in a denigrate way, but they're copying someone else's very good homework, so. That's true, but they've done a lot of things that are neat well, the, what I'm, I, I, the reason I bring that up is that they've got like a safety blanket almost, or safety net, true. I should say. Like the, well, I mean, the almost a skill had floor. the safety blanket, right? Of the didn't the they not really series. adapt it that accurately at they all? They didn't. They they deviated um, pretty significantly. Oh, I spent a lot more time figuring out that. Uh, yeah. Well, we know this building, Fringy. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we're trying to meet up with the fireflies right now, right? Yes. But to deliver yeah. the girl. Oh dear. Um, S seems a little more agitated than you'd expect. Yeah. Seems like it's about more than just a car battery. I mean, there's got to be a, a fucking radio or something, right? Ammunition. You'll need that. One of them got bit. The healthy ones fought the sick ones. Everyone lost. Tess? He what says that like that's happened before. Yeah. A lot. It's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home! Our luck had to run out sooner or later. She's infected. This is real. Josh is fucking real. I need you to get her to Bill and Frank's. Yeah. I never ask you for anything, not to feel the way I felt, yeah. not to, will you shut the fuck up because I don't have time. You get her there. You keep her alive. And you said everything right. Please. <gasps> oh, fuck! Gonna a little more of them. <gasps> There you go, the mechanic pays off. <laughs> kind of like a one of us has just been destroyed. Destroy whatever did that sort of thing. How many? All of them. What are you doing? Making sure that they don't follow you. Man, this is a bit more of a uh, massive, like, blaze of glory for her than uh, in the game. Ah. Oh, That'll take some of those. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, like, guys, we've got ammunition piles I will say, and boxes. We have you grenades. are correct, but this is... Joel is not going to be uh, rational right now. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I would just... I would just get a grenade. To be honest they with you. Taking grenades, pulling pins, throwing, pulling pins, throwing... Are these clickers? They're not hearing her. Oh, well, she's already infected, right? So maybe they don't care. Oh, well, like it was said, right? Even if you're infected, it'll kill you. It'll, it'll fuck you up. Yeah. Oh, right, well, yeah.
Well, there you go. Yeah, we got episode two. I think that was good. Yeah, I think I so too. Whole episode. I think they did a really good job establishing. Uh, we've got like the human. We had like an episode of like the human area. Now we got the infected area, and they're very deadly. It's not just like, ooh, I'm a zombie. I'm gonna walk towards you. How could humanity have lost? No, no, no. It's it's like it's actually. Uh, yeah. It definitely sells like that. This is something that feels like it could actually like beat humans. Just the fact that even trying to fight two of them is like this incredibly terrifying encounter. Yeah, they're kind of really tanky. Difficult. They're kind of fast, and yeah. and they alert others when you fun. kill them or can anyway. Yeah, well, yeah, that is a change. Right now, we get to see what that actually looks like, which is an interesting change. It certainly is a uh, different than how it worked before. Leverage there to enable quite a different payoff to win the game because in the game test basically just does a last stand against a bunch of military guys. Yeah. Uh, whereas here it was like a massive explosion. Yeah, and the acting is just really on point. Um, really strong. They take in. Yeah. I'd say the important parts of the game. I don't feel like we missed out at all on on any of the connecting pieces that are up to this point in the no, game. Really. I don't think so. I mean, again, production side is super impressive. The sets, the visual effects, the designs on the the infected, the sound yeah. design and lighting, it's all really strong and in service of, of like capturing the tone that they want to evoke in each moment, right? Where you can have these like scenery of this destroyed world, but nature is reclaiming it and then contrast that with a different, more scary version of nature, essentially trying to assert control over the world. Yeah, that episode was just all focused on them three, pretty much, and then we lose Tess, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, if you play the game or watch this series without any of that knowledge, I do think that comes as a surprise that Tess dies that early. Probably would, yeah. Even though, obviously, we knew what was going to happen, I think that there's enough indication in the way that she's acting after that encounter to give to give away, right? Like, something's wrong. Yeah. Her, her entire temperament has changed, but you see it gradually anyway, right? Her coming to more and more sort of accept the situation and a willingness to push forward with it. Meanwhile, well, Joel is just kind of apathetic the whole time, just like, I don't want to do this. They give you snippets, well, right? Like him saying, we're going home, and then she says, that's not my home. Being, of course, I think she's referring to a wider context of this isn't home, what's happened anymore. Like, we. The world is not home. Yeah. And having to deal with it is a fucking nightmare. And so there's this one shot here of. Uh, Something, but yeah, obviously something, Joel just anything. Joel has already said he doesn't fucking believe in it and he doesn't care about it. He wants to just do what the smartest thing is, whatever it is at the time. But yeah, he's written that off. Uh, where she's now in a position where she's willing to accept it, and basically he's got a, uh... in order to defy basically her life, right? To to give her to give her life some kind of meaning instead of it just being like twenty years of killing people and smuggling and just looking out for herself. Well, and the, uh, I've never asked anything of you, never asked you to feel how I felt. I think it's just a bit of, like, mm -hmm. a, their relationship was never quite, um, as deep as maybe one of them wanted. Which, I mean, you got that in the first game as well, kind of, where it's like, there's got to be enough here for you to feel an obligation. Basically the same thing here. Right? Yeah, like, that's, this is that's how good... we get a character it... like Joel to com commit to this now, is that he's yeah, got, like, a, a life plot. debt, almost. Yeah. Somebody who cares, who he cares about has said, you, you're you gonna do this for me. Like, you gotta, you have to do it for me. And now that it's just those two on their own, it's like, well, now's the opportunity to basically force Joel to develop that relationship, whereas with Tess, there's a little bit of distance he can, he can leave between him and Ellie. Yeah, and it seems like they put an effort in this episode to make uh, to make Tess a little bit more likable to Ellie than Joel, so that it's, yeah. it it get you get that sense of like, oh, if it, if I had to lose one of you, it really had to be her, and then it's gonna be like, well, yeah. and Joel. as the game goes on, or as the story yeah, goes on, I should say, story goes on, evidently, but there there is that change, right? They're not because they encounter Bill by passing through Bill's town. Whereas now it seems like she sent them to go to Bill specifically. Um, yeah. Uh, whereas in the game, you can go find Tommy because uh, he ran with the Fireflies so he can help you. I'm very curious how they're going to adapt. It's one of my favorite moments in the whole game is when uh got the chance to sort of ditch her, you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, you know, and even that opening scene, is, I think it makes a really fun addition, right? Because it's quite horrifying, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, well, yeah, it makes me wonder if it's like you said, right? Uh, it was either you or Rags. Maybe that'll be what we're getting each episode is uh, more insight into what happened before. And maybe that means, because I imagine next episode will be Bill. That would be my guess. Maybe we'll get to see what happened with Bill. And then maybe we see what happens with like Henry and Sam. Um, yeah, because they did. Maybe we'll see 
yeah. if intro one was uh, an intro to the science behind the theory almost of how it could happen and then it literally taking place i'd wonder if we're going to get scenes of uh, different areas falling apart maybe yeah maybe we'll see how like certain quarantine i could easily imagine that we might get a flashback on like the fireflies coming to exist as an entity it would be cool if we had like a white house uh opening scene as well yeah yeah like what what is the plan what are we doing here and maybe that's when they're like we're going to create these quarantine zones this is what we're doing everything outside of it we're abandoning yeah it's definitely seems like the episodic structure can be like really worthwhile in terms of um each episode focuses on like one specific thing or each episode we encounter a new set of characters who only stay for one or two episodes because it's joel and ellie is a consistent element but yeah all it is is that i'm i'm engaged and I'm interested to keep watching yes. it. Yeah, and they keep I laying am. more and more foundations as well as mm -hmm. arguably a, more payoffs than a lot of TV shows get within their first two episodes. And two episodes, yeah, because you, you've only had tests for two episodes and it's like, sh that was that was good work. That was good work that they did with her. Yeah, and yeah, props to the actress so. as well. She was pretty good. Mm -hmm. What else can you say? You know, I, just, I just feel like pretty <laughs> much every element is either good or if not great. I mean, the set design is fucking fabulous. Yeah, it's like one of the... it's. Like among the most convincing green screens I've ever seen, this the city backdrop, it looks so much money and effort went into it. It is mm -hmm. so easy to accept that they're walking through this post-apocalyptic city that it's like you legit forget that it's a movie set. That it can't be real. It, it can't be real. But those yeah. sets, man, like, god damn, they're so detailed. Yeah, they worked so really hard and it pays off. Exactly, yeah. The practicality of a lot of the places they're in, the it looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. Last of Us, episode two. Episode what two. else can you say? Thought it was really, really yeah. solid. We'll see how this show goes further on. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. <gasps>